uh, we had a very uh, robust um, discussion. We had representatives of ICANN, uh, NTIA, uh, R Street, uh, the Wilberforce Foundation, and uh, the Consumer uh, Technology Association. We, we talked about that the Internet of Things is an example of new technologies bring us ways to respond to today's challenges that never existed before and come with new opportunities. That technology uh, itself is not good or bad, it's how we use the uh, technology. We've been doing this, we, we have a dynamic coalition on the Internet of Things that was uh, set up in a Hyderabad in, at IGF in 2008 and have been working on a, a uh, global um, a good practice paper with, with a focus on, on ethics. So as it, for those of you that are interested, you can find out more at uh, IOT slash dynamic coalition, IOT slash dynamic slash coalition uh, dot org. Um, our, our, as I said, our discussion was, was robust and, and, and very wide ranging. Um, but among the main points is that with the Internet of Things that the scope and scale actually is new that it's a distributed, that what we, the challenge that we face is a distributed problem that uh, we will also be looking at distributed um, solutions. We talked about the importance of uh, capacity building and, and awareness in terms of driving the multi-stakeholder um, process. Um, in terms of picking up on the, the, the dynamic coalition, the IoT framework, um, the, the issue of, of ethics, we had a long discussion about ethics and that it's important with the Internet of Things and, and all technology, but to incorporate, that ethics incorporates the way people see and interact with their daily lives. And then obviously from, from uh, Vince Cerf's uh, uh, challenge this morning, we spent a fair amount of time talking about that the fundamental premise of the IoT is to make life better uh, for people in the developing and the um, uh, developed world. So thank you.